Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Wraps by Rachel. And um, I have a lot of stuff. I, do, I go to the thrift stores and I, I, I buy stuff to use in junk journals. And, and in all honesty, I probably have more stuff than I'm ever gonna use in my whole life. So it's like everywhere and I need to organize it. And I figure if I organize it, I'll be able to find things and utilize what I have much better. So I found some products at the Dollar Tree today and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to utilize that. So let me go ahead and put this here. Okay, so what I found was these storage bags. Um, they are a heavy duty storage bag. They're in the area like where you would get the um, shoe boxes, where you would get hangers, kind of like home closet kind of stuff, that particular aisle. Um, and these are amazing. They are a 15 by 15 storage bag. Um, pulling one over right here. So in this particular one, I have marked it for um, mermaids. Actually, uh, silly me. I marked it as, as mermaid, but actually um, this is my unicorn bag. So I'm going to have to pull all this stuff out because I am ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, so it is a 15 by 15 bag and it has this really nice um, zip close, which is nice and tight. It's got this awesome little handle here. And so I figured I could kind of group things by colors, by themes, by, you know, anything sort of along those lines. And that I could put them, um, these are from Target. So this is $10. It's the Hefty High Rise 32 quart. It's 16 by 12 by 14. So it's, you know, it's a good size to um, put these put these in and um, and there we have it. But I was worried about everything sort of falling down. So then I realized I could utilize these. These are a chopping mat. There's two of them in here for a dollar. They're flexible, but they're, you know, kind of an acrylic-y plastic and they're 11 by 14. So basically, I'm um, pulling my other one here. This is my my Frida Kahlo bag. And you can see what's nice is I can like pull this out of the storage container. I have all different kinds of Frida Kahlo stuff because I'm gonna be making a Frida Kahlo journal for myself. But I also know that I'm probably going to use um, more Frida Kahlo stuff in various journals like, like um, women's empowerment or art or just you know fun colors that sort of thing um anything that is related to mexico um so frida kahlo is is one of the themes and so what i have done is i i put this chopping mat in here so that it gives this a little bit more structure so i can sort of stand it upright and um and that sort of thing and i can Put things in here like um, magazine clippings. These are some stickers. Here's this amazing stencil, free to color stencil that I just got. And all of this stuff goes in the free to color bag. And there we have it. And then I can organize everything. So <clears throat> I I only bought two. I'm realizing I'm gonna have to go and, and, and buy a few more um, of these um, hefty containers as well as the um, of these storage bags. Um, so you get three for a dollar, the chopping mats, you get two for a dollar. And so I have one that's going to be for um, the themes. I have one that's going to be for various colors. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and then I have like other colors. So brown, white, black, silver, um, bronze, things along those lines. And then I can um, just put little things um, in there. So for example, I got these today at the Dollar Tree. And to me, this is um, could either be mermaid or it could be for 
unicorn and so I can there's um uh I can like cut this in half put half of it in one bag half of it in the other and so then for example if I'm um, making a journal with like I am a unicorn all my unicorn stuff all my unicorn colors everything's together and it just makes everything a lot easier and so I thought I would go ahead and share share that hint with you I'm just also going to show you a couple of things that I got at Dollar Tree today that are like um new to me and are pretty pretty awesome -o. so for example this is, these are technically a wall sticker but um, they're safe for walls, they're safe for other things. And so here we have like the awesome mermaids. What I'm going to have to do with this is like kind of like cut it sort of like that so that, because this is really long, it's more than um, 15 inches and to be able to um, fit this in here. And so then there's also this one. This is another, another mermaid one. This is pretty amazing. Put that to the side. These are also brand new and I am really digging these. These are a, officially it's a removable wall tile. And it is, um, I want to say it's maybe like, like a nine by nine. I might say it on here someplace. Um, I'm thinking it's like nine by nine, maybe nine by 10. So it's shiny. This is a silver kind of wall tile and um, I'm gonna use these in my journals. This is a um, coppery, coppery one. That's pretty cool. And then also um, this is in the craft section. So this is for um, doing beads and for doing like jewelry making. A dollar, That we well, can't beat that. There we go. Um, and these here also in the craft section, these are a laser cut, um, kind of like wooden things. So this has six, there's, um, these are clocks. So I'm going to put this in with my steampunk category. Here are some, uh, wooden keys. I'm going to also put those in the steampunk sort of category. Um, there are these jumbo playing cards. As you can see, it's basically like the size of my hand. Um, and I'm going to, um, take some of these and alter them for my Alice in Wonderland journal for me that I'm making for myself right now. And, um, this huge stick of, um, Avery brand glue stick. It's... 1.27 ounces, 36 grams. I like when you get a name brand, um, especially for things like glue sticks, because glue, you know, picky with the glue. And then um, I've been hearing about this, but it's never been in stock when I've gone. The Beacon Foam and Poster Board Adhesive, which is supposedly basically just Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, um, but repackaged for the Dollar Tree purposes. And then the last thing that um, is kind of new, they're not new per se, but these sort of scallopy edged napkins. I'm just going to carefully open this up with my teeth because that's classy, right? Okay, I'm a real person. I do real people things. So I've done this with other kinds of um, scalloped edged napkins. And basically what you would want to do is you would want to um, peel open this up and you would want to, um, most napkins are either two or three plies. You take a piece of tape, you put it on the, the plain, um, plain backing, and then you tear off the, the white part and then you just get the, the colorful part. But anyway, so if you do like this, okay, and then you do some glue or, or uh, Mod Podge or whatever, and basically you give this a little bit of a twist. Like, like that. Do, 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 do. And now you have kind of like a little, a little dress shape and you can kind of adjust it a little bit. You can kind of, um, tuck this part, part down to make more of like a little neckline. 
but um, you can make a little dress and then put like a little head right here. And so then we have a pretty dress, which then you could further decorate. Um, so anyhow, that is what I'm gonna be using these for. And we have pink, we have sky blue, we have purple, and we have this kind of awfully color. And so I'm making all kinds of pretty dresses um, for different pages. Okay, hopefully um, I've given you some ideas and shown you some of my um, organizational tips and have a great day.